Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Gene, the fishing machine, right here. I'm going to have to talk a little bit loud because there's a lot of traffic this morning. It's uh, 10 o'clock, a little bit late to do what I'm, I, I need to do, and that's catch a big catfish. But yet it may be a little bit early for this area I'm fishing. Um, I don't think I've ever fished it this early in the year. But my main objective today is to catch a couple big catfish. And stay with me a few minutes and see if we can get it done. Straight to the point, let's go fishing. Well, let's start off by saying this. This bank that I'm gonna fish right here is real deep. Okay, I'm gonna be casting into about 22 to 24 feet of water real rocky so i'm not going to use any weight today folks i'm just going to launch big baits out here uh if i use the weight i'll get hung up immediately right in here in areas i'm going to fish today i hope i can catch a big flathead or a big blue now it's a little bit early for pre-spawn uh catfish not much early but a little bit but I, what I anticipate is, is a, maybe a few fish moving in. And what fish it moves in, I hope they're big ones. I'm going to be fishing for big ones today. And the tackle I'm going to use, uh, this one right here, this is a Whisker Whip series, seven and a half foot long. And I've got a nine-out circle hook right here, and I believe this is a Mustad hook. And I have a barrel swivel. This leader is 50 pound test red Cajun line, stout line, and I have 40 pound line, uh, big game, loaded on the reel. And it's just a pro cat reel. They're cheap, but they have a click, clicker feature on them, excuse me. And uh, that, and I got two spinning reels and rods with me. One of them is a Zebco Hog Seeker, which is a cheap rod, but I've caught some big catfish on it. Cheap, I'm saying around $22, $24. I mean, they're cheap, but they'll handle a big catfish. And I got a vintage SS3000 Daiwa reel. This is a saltwater series. This, this reel right here was made back in the 60s, before I was even born. And it's loaded with 30 pound test big game. And this reel right here is also got 30 pound big game on it. And it's just a quantum optics with a silver cat rod. This is a, a seven and a half foot or is it seven feet? It's a seven foot B&M rod. And I've caught some pretty good fish with it too. But today it's a little bit different than fishing in a boat with rod holders. Uh, this one I don't have a swivel or anything on. But these rocks are so heavy in here, it's just almost next to impossible to put any weight. Now this is a skipjack herring, and I've got several of these, and I also have gizzard shad. But I want a big bait, so I'm going to turn your head if you're a little squeamish. But this is the reality of fishing. <laughs> oh, my. I'm going to cut his head off about right there that's one bait then I'm gonna come right here and cut us another bait these are big baits right here and I'm gonna put this one on the bait caster I'm gonna put this one on the spinning rod and we'll launch them out and on that other one I'll we'll might we might put another piece of skipjack or maybe uh, a regular shad, a regular shad, a gizzard shad. All right, there's that old big head right there. It's done got my rod boat, but I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna launch it straight out right here. Okay, just as far out as I can. Now that's a cast. That is way out yonder way. Now, I'm over about 25 feet of water right here. And the brake line is probably about 20 feet 
this way of that cast. So that bait is just about going to hit right on the brake line. Brake line meaning drop off. And it'll take it a while because there's no weight, but not long. Not long as you would think. Probably about 30 seconds it'll be there. Then I'll put this click, clicker feature, flip it in position. When I lay the rod down, and then I'll be able to hear this one. Okay, this is on the Silver Cat rod. I got a, this is a, a nine out Gamakatsu octopus circle. Now I'm just gonna come right here in the in the gut cavity and hook him about like that. Make sure there's no scales on your point. That'll make you miss a fish. It'll cause you to. And I'm gonna launch that thing on out in there just about as fur as I throw it. And I've got me a good rod holder right here. It's just a piece of driftwood. Okay. We'll let that one go to the bottom. And we'll put her time in and wait. <laughs> oh my goodness, folks. I'm tangled up in some rocks right here. Let's see if we can get him out with a big catfish. So what I'm gonna have to do is take my time right here and see if we can get him out, but he's hooked himself. And I hadn't been here 10 minutes. Here he comes. He's in a rock or something. <laughs> I'm sorry about it. And here he comes to the top. It could be a blue. Woo! That fish like to got my rod right here. I'm gonna get right back over here so I can fight him and try to keep him out of my other lines. There he comes. It's a big catfish, folks. I mean, a super dog catfish. And I gotta keep him out of the rocks. Excuse me. Look here, what a blue. Look at there. Woo! Okay. Ugh. That's a 30 pound test trialing that I got right here. I'm gonna have a fit. I'm gonna have to wear this catfish out. But he's huge. I am so proud to see this. Oh, dang. Oh, man. Dead gone. You're talking about fun. Now, he. That's what a circle hook could do for you from the bank. Did it do that right there for you? But it's a lot harder to land them from the bank than it is by boat. So we're talking about being sporty right here. <laughs> Y'all can tell I'm excited. Now what I'm gonna do is just do the best I can right here because this is a powerful fish right here. A lot of power. Here we go. Okay. 30 pound test line, especially trialing big game is underrated. You can land a big fish Now that was on a skipjack head. Right here. Let me get right down in here. I'm gonna get hurt here, but that's okay. That's what I do. God the money, he hurt me. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. <laughs> oh, he's biting me. Look at there. He's done tore that thumb out of pieces. Okay, let's take a good look at this fish. That was a lot of work and a lot of effort. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna unhook him. Whew. I'm excited. He tore my thumb up all two pieces though. That's just part of it. Let's get him off. The 
folks I'm gonna hold that fish up the best I can but that is a giant catfish and I enjoyed that that's why fishing is a sport second to none look at that what a fish okay let's let her go let's see what happened right here my god tore my hands off pieces I love it Whew. oh Elmo you just know how fun this was okay found me a crevice right here in the rocks it's just right for the butt of that rod to seat into now I'm waiting for a bite and I've got that drag pretty tight now if a big blue takes off with it straight out he'll hook yourself all right Let's try and catch us another one in there. Whoa, hey, hey, oh, God. oh me, I got another big one right here, folks. Let me loosen my drag. It's coming to the top. It might be a blue. I thought it was a flathead. That's more like a blue when they come to the top like this. There he comes, y'all see him? That's a big fish. Another big one. Now this is just a battle of wheel right here with 30 pound line. You just have to wear them out. Let them wear out. I'm fishing with what you call medium grade tackle. Golly, what a fish. She's got my other line, but that's okay. That's part of fishing. I don't get rattled when it comes to fishing. I've learned to be a patient fisherman. Things don't always go your way, but now today, they're going my way. It's a big fish. We'll hold this one up so y'all can see him. Golly, bum. My hands is going to be sore for two weeks. It's okay. Come on in here. Golly, bum, what a fish. Quit, quit. Got to be careful here. <laughs> Got to get him... I ain't gonna be careful. I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Got caught up in my other line. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ah, dang. Now that hurt. I don't know. He's as big as that other one, but he's huge. Folks, this is a hard biting fish I'm talking about. But I don't know anything else to do but just uh, grab him like that, bring him up, and show him <laughs> the best I can. Then let's let him go. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh, my, my, my. That's the best release I could do. I done the men tortured enough right here. Whew. You know, I'm gonna try to catch another. Having a lot of fun right here. You want some backup? Y'all right here, you want some tall? Okay, folks, I don't know if I've ever showed y'all this knot before, but this is the one that I use. It's not the original snail knot. Um, it used to be called the, the no snail knot. I don't know what they call it now, but a lot of things has changed. I've cut me a piece of leader off here about two feet. This is 50 pound test mono. Stick it through the front like that. And then go around. I go around the hook counterclockwise seven times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven that's enough seven is a lucky number i take the for a lot of different reasons i take the 
tag in and go through the back of the hook like that and then cinch it now that causes a trigger effect you can see how the pressure by this line going through the front the pressure points right here okay when that catfish grabs it that hook when it gets pressure on it or your line will curve in there and catch that fish a lot easier oh man there's another one folks another giant okay i didn't have my camera on i'll show you all y'all what i was doing right here let me focus on this fish this is another big one i mean a big one i was over there and i recasted that far bait right there out and jammed it up in the rocks again because i didn't feel like it was far enough out and then i got bit on this one this one's got a piece of skipjack on it or had a piece and a big piece i thought it was way too big it's way bigger than my fist and i was just gonna let it lay out there to see what would happen and this is what happened right here i want to say this because i'd hate for braid is real good if you're fishing in a boat and fishing a ledge situation with rod holders but when you're fishing around round rocks in my opinion get away from the braid if it ever gets a nick on it that fish will be gone he will be gone and you'll it'll cost you a good fish because i used to fish for these a lot big catfish and i'm just now really getting back into it and i've had braid disappoint me many times if you're around rock and a lot of structure if if braid like i said if braid ever gets a little nick you've had it i don't care if it's 65 pound test braid a fish of this size i pop it mono will take some scratch up and beat up i can't talk this is another good one. It's a mule. I guarantee it's a mule. I'm doing my time and trying. That's the sport of fishing. It's a big fish. I don't know what I'm going to do, though. Let's use a little common sense right here. Let's take this stick. Let's put it in his mouth, wedge it, and then grab him so he can't clamp down on me. That might be the wisest thing. My hands is a little sore. Come here. What a catfish. Come here, quit, quit, quit. <laughs> okay. All right, this is an old technique that my daddy showed me right here, so it works good. We'll just bring him on up here. That's a big fish. I mean, it's a big one, folks. I'm going to just lay him right there. Oh, my goodness. These are giants today. Uh, folks, yet another big one. I'm gonna take a stick out of his mouth right here after I put him back in. That's a big fish too. I'm wanting to catch one about 70. Uh, let's get it out of his mouth so he can go ahead and clamp down on me. All right, go on back in there, boy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Doggone it, I dare one of them other ones to go down in there. Hey, if they do, it's Katie bar the door on it. Shoo wee, man. That thing right there stinks. What is that? That thing stinks on it. <coughs> All right, folks, I'm fixing to head on in. The bite's over. A few fish coming through here. They bit real good. And then that's the end of it. 
blue cats or movers is hit and miss on them. But I want to thank y'all very much for spending the day with me. All the great comments. Never know what will happen when you go fishing on any given day. That's a fact. Thank y'all for enjoying the sport with me as much as I love the sport. Hey. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Doggone it. Okay, look it. Hey. Oh, it's got thorns in it. Dad, go. My hands has had it. Whoa. And remember. Whoa. Go fishing when you can. Walk on here. Good. Where are you?